welcome back so this is day three i would say from the last few um, recordings there's been a number of updates um, so the ram that i purchased uh, the one on the right this one uh, that did not work on the motherboard uh, the motherboard had an orange light that was permanently there um, just over here and um, according to the manual it says that the ram um, could not be found or no ram detected so i did the bios update um, to the newest like bios um, using the um, bios flashback option the ram worked it it works fine it booted up but then i realized i might as well just get um the Corsair Vengeance Pro. Um, it says optimized for Ryzen. I don't even know if it actually makes a makes any difference in 2022. But uh, this one says um, supports Intel. So I went with the one that decides that says it's um, it's optimized for optimized for Ryzen, and um, it seems to be good. Uh, yeah. So quick. Yeah, so quick tip, maybe um, you can fast, you can two times speed this this video because I'm just talking um, as I go and I'm not a professional YouTuber. I don't have a script. I'm not reading from a script. I don't have studio. I'm not editing. It's just raw uploads. So feel free to two times play this, uh, this audio or the video uh, to get through it a lot faster. So um, I ended up went I ended up going with the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. Um, I think it looks better anyway. Um, it's gonna be in the case, but at least it'll sh it'll actually shine out um, with the RGB colors, and it's working fine. I've installed TrueNAS, um, so it's working perfectly fine in RAID here. So if one of these hard drives fail, I can easily swap it out. It won't be very easy because I kind of uh, two-way taped them together. Um, so I'm gonna have to pry them out with some alcohol. But um, it works for now. Um, if I need to pry it off, it's not too hard to remove anyway. I, I got two-way tape that's pretty um, tacky that actually peels off. So that's not a problem. Um, so you can see here in the system settings i have not created the pool yet because um i was just testing these drives to make sure that the drives are working i mean the sata plane is working and the sata connectors are all showing up so that's fine i tested the drives in each of the pools and it's appearing here um, once I get my five hard drives, I'm waiting for my five WD Reds Pro or Plus to come through. They are CMR drives. Um, and once they arrive, I will actually create the pool and I'll start creating apps and everything else. But um, so far, it's looking really good. Um, the RAM is appearing as, as it should. It all looks, it all looks fine. Um, I had to reapply thermal paste because I had to flip my um, I had to flip this CPU fan around so this bit here comes into here um, it also allows me to use a higher uh, um, uh, use a higher RAM um, which is fine and other than that everything else seems to be good the case um, slides in pretty well um, so the next video should be uh, me with the actual hard drives um, plugging in um, and getting it up and running. You can see here it all looks fine. Uh, cable management is good, I think. It's not too bad. Um, yeah. And you can see the two hard drives in there. Um, this one here is still appearing as normal um, and you would also see that um, this channel where the um, where the hard drive slides in it's actually in the way so this one here 
the next hard drive I slide in is gonna hit all these cables. So gotta make sure when you do your build, uh, if you plan to do this this exact same build, that you um, be careful for these cables. But once you slide in the hard drive, you shouldn't be pulling it out too often. So I think you should be fine. Um, yeah, so look out for the next video. Um, goodbye.